welcome to this week's vlog. It is Monday. I actually did not realize that I have today as a federal holiday because I now work for a company that allows me to, I take basically, if a, if a government office or a bank would be closed, I probably have the day off, which is kind of cool. The, it, it is the observed Juneteenth day, so I have the day off, which is cool. And my boss was like very excited about telling me the history about Juneteenth and why it's finally being recognized and stuff, which was a really cool educational thing. So I do love that. I'm getting a lot of educational stuff in my new job. I am rereading Middle Game again for like the billionth time. And I am planning on um, <clears throat> defacing it. And I don't mean making it unreadable because I will be doing that by no means. I do mean like actively highlighting it and writing on the book uh, on the hardcover. So the hardcover is black and I will be writing on the hardcover with white jelly roll pens. Um, I want to do my favorite quotes or quotes that I really, really like from the book, not necessarily just my favorite. It kind of just depends on what, what all I can fit. And I'm going to be doing that. And then I think I'm going to do the same thing with seasonal fears. Um, but we will see if that is what ends up happening. Um, today I am on my way to, doc to the doctor to get my medication refill and I will be, what am I doing after that? Oh, I might go to CVS to see if they've got disposable cameras because I'm almost out. Mine is almost empty. Um, and we're going to my aunt's house to swim and stuff and so I may want to take photos. When I whipped out the disposable camera, my brother was like, they still make those? And then my baby cousin, she's not a baby, she's like 16, 17. They're like, Lily, do you even know how to use that? Which was kind of funny. Yeah, so we're going to my aunt's house, like I said. I'm wearing my decarcerate and rehabilitate shirt because it's really comfy. I might need to change before I go. Not that like my family is gonna make it a thing, but they might ask questions, too many questions about it, um, because they may have that knee-jerk reaction <laughs> about abolishing prisons, which is which is pretty per huge. My, my dad had the same knee-jerk reaction of like, we can't do that. And then when I explained like what that actually would look like, he was like, oh, those all sound like great ideas. And I was like, yeah, I know. I'm aware. Um, so yeah, there's that. I am also going to get Starbucks on my way home. And my parents are going to come get me with Matthias, which is cool. And that's my nephew. Um, he's 17 now, turning 18 soon. Going to be a senior in high school. So weird. It's just so weird. He uh, was just a baby for the entirety that I've known him. <laughs> and it's just so strange. Maybe I'll get him to take a picture with me and you guys can just see Ling. He looks like a little adult now. It makes me feel old. My um, my other brother, my oldest brother's not girl, I don't know what their relationship is, but Jimmy is her name. And she had come over because her kids were over with uh, at the house yesterday. And she was like looking at all of the family that she hadn't seen in a hot minute. And she was like, do you feel old? Because Jimmy and I are the same age. And I was like, yeah, dude, I feel ancient. Like, we have two kids who I was like, at one of them, I was there for the birth of them. I was like 16 or something. Oh God, I was. No, I was like 10, maybe. No, I was not. I don't know. I was 13, 14. That sounds more correct. 13 or 14 for the birth. And no, I was, I don't know. Time's not real. I'm thinking of her little sister. So it was 10, they're 10, 10 and 10 years younger than me for her birth. And she is just sitting in our living room as I was about to be a senior this year. What? No, you're not. You're not about to be a senior and making college decisions. And everyone's like, what are the college decisions y'all are making? And I'm like, they're not going to college. What? That's absurd. It just is very strange because I still look at myself as not quite yet an adult. I'm 27 and I'm still just like, I'm not an adult. But then like the other day I got asked career advice, technical career advice from some interns that work at the company. And it's mostly because they are in college right now for tech and they don't have working experience. And they asked, you know, what I did to get the experience that I have. And I just said I started at the bottom and worked my way up, but I also don't have any college degrees, so. And my brothers still treat me, well, my middle brother still treats me like I'm 17, which, is an interesting dynamic. Mostly, it's just like, you know I'm an adult, right? I'm about to go get a house with my husband. Like, I have a husband. Like, you know I'm an adult. 
Um, but he still thinks I'm like 17. So sometimes when his son is hanging out with me, he's like suspect, like I'm gonna, I don't know, like we're gonna wild out or party or something at night. We're not. <laughs> I, I have the most partying I do is when I have four of my friends come over and we play Just Dance because I force everyone to play Just Dance with me. And I have one drink, very rowdy, very crazy, I know. So we're just wilding out. Um, but yeah, it's just very interesting to see the age changes. I'm also, I'm so I'm rereading Middle Game. I'm thinking about purchasing the middle grade equivalents for Middle Game, or yeah, for Middle Game, because I want, I haven't read the second one, and the first one I read on script, so I think I'm gonna get the physical copies, because I'm just like really enjoying physically reading books right now, and I don't know what that's about. Um, that's a kind of a flip from my normal, my normal choices but anyway what else was I gonna say oh I'm reading Finding Me by Viola Davis it is her autobiography I really like Viola Davis I actually saw her at a women's conference um a, a few years ago so yeah anyway I'm gonna go when I get to the doctor's office maybe I'll show you guys what I've done with the book so far okay so this is what I'm what I'm doing so right now we've got the date I started the reread and a couple of quotes and I'm doing the highlighting the edges situation. The blue is from my second physical reread and I'm gonna do pink for my first physical reread. Um, we've got uh, tabs obviously. We've got some tabs. Um, so we've got some highlighting and then um, so I have that thermal printer that I probably showed you guys and the way that it works is I just like untaped part of it and then I put paper behind it so that if I wanted to write I could. So it's got it's got stickers and then like this is here. Um, this one's kind of fun for me because this is Lay or Lee and we've got a, another quote about Lee that I like a lot um, in this section that describes who she is. Uh, yeah, so that's like all I've got right now. Oh no, no that's not true. I've got this one. Um, and I'm gonna probably add to this as well. I just haven't done it yet. But yeah, that's, that's what I've got going on right now. And I kind of, I'm having a lot of fun doing it, so. Good morning. It's uh, Wednesday. It's Wednesday. I am tired as hell. I haven't been sleeping super well, um, which is unusual for me. So I don't, I don't know what that's about. But I would like it to stop. I would like to get some sleep. Um, I feel like it's very clear that I'm not sleeping. Generally, this happens around this time of my cycle. I know nobody wants that information, but I have it, so you're welcome. Um, and I know that, but it still feels like shit every time it happens. So, <laughs> love that for me. I end here? Anyway, I am like 50% into my reread again of Middle Game. Like I said, I'm defacing it, um, and that is all well and good and fun. I also am reading Viola Davis's autobiography and it's very interesting. None of it is stuff that I haven't heard from her previous like writings. So there's that. It's not a bad thing. It just is. So um, I think that's it though. I don't have a whole lot to update on. I did make a couple of possums for Bella. Uh, I hopefully editing me will put the picture there and right now I am working on her birthday present uh, that I'm probably gonna like I said before finish before her birthday in which case I have a backup plant like I have another equivalent of this that I will be making for her so it's all gonna work out just fine um, so yeah that's what I'm doing today other than work I kind of wanted to call out because I don't feel well but I shouldn't, so I'm not going to, but I want to. You know? Anyway, I'm gonna go. 
I hope you guys are having a great day. I will uh, check back in tomorrow. Okay, thanks, bye. Hello, it's Monday. I did not close out the vlog or talk to you guys for a couple of days. Um, Thursday I went to my parents' house and was busy with that. I did get pretty far into middle game, which was kind of all that I was doing, really re reading. I also finished crocheting um, Bella's surprise and gave it to her, so I will put a picture of that here. It is the sweater from Princess Bubblegum from Adventure of Princess Bubblegum from Adventure Time, so I'm quite proud of how that came out. It's probably some of my best work that I've ever done. I then, you know, got the news about Roe v. Wade um, on Friday and had a lot of feelings about all of that, especially as one, someone who wants to have kids but also has health conditions that could mean that I would need medical intervention of certain kinds, depending. And two, it does lead to some concerns when it comes to marriages of different kinds, um, including interracial marriage, which if y'all did not know, I am in one. So while Hispanic Americans can classify themselves as white in the United States, which is great, um, it, that may change. And so it was a little bit hard and I was not in a place to update, so I didn't. And I'm still not really in a place to, I don't know, exist right now, but I kind of have to. That's just how life works. On a different note, though, my ring that my husband had been wanting to get me came in. So this is the first ring in my wedding set. My second ring will be coming in a couple months. Um, and it is from, it is uh, inspired by the Nutcracker. And it is Claire's dream. So I'm very pleased with that. At least I have that positive. And we got to look at houses, which was kind of cool. I don't think we're going to go live in any of those houses that we looked at, but we did get to go see them, so that was cool. Um, but that's all. I'm still kind of mentally processing everything, and that's all. I hope that you guys are having a great day. I will see you guys again on Tuesday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time and Thursday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time every single week without fail. Take care of yourselves. Keep it on it. I need you to back, 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 back it up. Yeah, back, 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 back it up. Ain't no time to play.